ladies and gentlemen, Hassan Manash. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my God. <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the series finale of the White House Correspondents' Dinner. <laughs> oh, man. My name is Hassan Minaj, or as I'll be known in a few weeks, number 830287. <laughs> Who would have thought, with everything going on in the country right now, that a Muslim would be standing on this stage for the ninth year in a row, baby? We had eight years of Barack. What's another year? I see you, fam. I see you, Barry. What you doing right now? You jet skiing while the world burns? That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. For those of you who don't know me, I am a correspondent on The Daily Show on Comedy Central. Now I see some of you whispering to each other, what is Comedy Central? Um, it's basically an internship for Netflix. <laughs> I'd like to thank Jeff Mason and the White House Correspondents Association for having me. I would say it is an honor to be here, but that would be an alternative fact. It is not. Uh, no one wanted to do this. So of course, it lands in the hands of an immigrant. It's how it always goes down. No one wanted this gig, no one. Don Rickles died just so you wouldn't ask him to do this gig, all right? R.I.P. to Don Rickles, the only Donald with skin thick enough to take a joke like that. R.I.P. to the legend. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's, that's my, only, that's my only, only Trump joke. I was explicitly told not to go after the administration. I promise you, that's my only Trump joke. You were not told that. Believe me. <laughs> it is amazing to be surrounded by some of the greatest journalists in the world. And yet, when we all checked into the Hilton on Friday, we all got a USA Today. <laughs> Every time a USA Today slides underneath my door, it's like they're saying, hey, you're not that smart, right? <laughs> USA Today is what happens when the coupon section takes over the newspaper. Like, what, is, this a, is this an article about global warming or 50 cents off tide? Either way, the pictures are so pretty. Tonight, is about defending the First Amendment and the free press. And I am truly honored to be here, even though all, all of Hollywood pulled out now that King Joffrey is president and it feels like the Red Wedding in here. <laughs> For the record, the WHCA is a group of journalists who cover the White House. They are not King Joffrey's goons. So I'm so glad you guys are all here tonight to honor a great American tradition, because we all know this administration loves deleting history faster than Anthony Weiner when he hears footsteps. So thank you for being here. Okay, listen, I get it, I get it. We gotta address the elephant that's not in the room. The leader of our country is not here. And that's because he lives in Moscow. It is a very long flight. It'd be hard for Vlad to make it. Vlad can't just make it on a Saturday, it's a Saturday. As for the other guy, I think he's in Pennsylvania because he can't take a joke. Now, for the nine people watching on C-SPAN, there also was another elephant in the room, but Donald Trump Jr. shot it and cut off its tail. <laughs> you know, a lot of people told me, Hassan, if you go after the administration, it would be petty, unfair, and childish. In other words, presidential, so here we go. <clears throat> I get why Donald Trump didn't want to be roasted tonight. By the looks of him, he's been roasting nonstop for the past 70 years. <laughs> Historically, the president usually performs at the Correspondents' Dinner, but I think I speak for all of us when I say he's done far too much bombing this month. <laughs> now, a lot of people in the media say that Donald Trump goes golfing too much. You guys are always like, he goes golfing too much, which raises a very important question. Why do you care? Do you want to do, do you want to know what he's not doing when he's golfing? Being president. <laughs> Let the man putt-putt. Keep him distracted. 
Teach him how to play badminton. Tell him he has a great body for bobsledding. Play him tic-tac-toe. The longer you keep him distracted, the longer we're not at war with North Korea. <laughs> Every time Donald Trump goes golfing, the headlines should read, Trump golfing, apocalypse delayed.